Hello guys and welcome to Football TV. It's your boy Badest and today we're going to be comparing these awesome goalkeepers. It's JJ Buffon vs Ike Casillas. Make sure you watch this video to the end so that you leave your thoughts in the comment section below about who's the better goalkeeper. It's a grand day of the legends guys. You don't want to miss out on this. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks. Gigi Buffon hails from Italy, where he was born on January the 28th, 1978, making him 41 years old. He's 1.92 meters tall, and we all know Gigi Buffon is a goalkeeper. Recently, due to his age, as we all know, he's worth 5 million euros. Meanwhile, the great Spanish legend Ike Casillas was born on May the 30th, 1981, making him 38 years old. We all know he's a goalkeeper and he's also worth about 5 million euros. Gigi Buffon made his official debut for Italy on October 29, 1997. He has played 176 games, conceding 118 goals and keeping 77 clean sheets. He keeps an average clean sheet of 0.44 clean sheets per game and has considered 6 yellow cards playing for his country. Meanwhile, the Spanish legend Ike Casillas made his official debut on June 3, 2000. He has played 167 games, conceding 84 goals and keeping 102 clean sheets. While playing for their clubs, Gigi Buffon has played a total of 657 club games, conceding 535 goals and keeping 299 clean sheets. He has an average clean sheet of 0.45 clean sheet per game. Meanwhile, Ike Casillas has made a total of 626 club appearances, conceding 597 goals and keeping 239 clean sheets averaging a total of 0.38 clean sheets per game. For their career stats, Gigi Buffon made a total of 1,077 appearances conceding 871 goals and keeping 480 clean sheets, averaging a total of 0.45 clean sheet per game. He considered 21 yellow cards and 5 red cards throughout his career. Meanwhile, Ike Casillas made a total of 1,048 career appearances, conceding 950 goals and keeping 440 clean sheets, averaging a total of 0.42 clean sheet per game. 
He considered 33 yellow cards and 3 red cards throughout his career.